Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, this is part two of the Q&A Get Ready With Me. This is the look. Tell me how it's looking. Comment down below. I'm going to show you guys how I got this look. So continue to watch. Okay, you guys, so we are going to start off this with my primer. You already know what I go in with, baby skin. I use this poreless primer in my T-zone and, you know, the hydro grip everywhere else. So we're just going to get into these questions. Number one is, number one is, what sport did you play when you were younger? So, um... The sport I played when I was younger, um, I don't know if it's kickball a sport. <laughs> um, I did kickball. Um, cheerleading is a sport. I cheered. I danced. Um, um I also danced for my church at the time as well. Um, kickball. I played that. I played, but that was for fun, so that don't even count. So yeah, those are all the sports that I did, um, that I played when I was younger. Number two, do you believe in monogamy? Yes, I do. I, do I think monogamy is dead? Yes, I do. Um, only in this generation, like, I see a lot of people saying, like, they wish that, um, you know, they was born in a different time and stuff like that. And I see why a lot of people say that because it's like, um, it's like today's generation don't have any structure, discipline, guidance. And it's like, when you do try to, you know, guide and, you know, help the kids out and stuff like that, it's like, well, these men, they, they grown men act like kids. So that's why I said that. But it's like, that still don't be doing, that still do no justice. Like that don't work either. And like, everyone wants to link. They don't want to think, they just want to link. They just want to have fun. They just want to link. And it's like, baby, what are we really doing? Cause this is not, to me, this is not what, you know what I'm saying? This is not what's good. This is not what's really going on. Like, I want love, attention, and affection. And today, these men be wanting you to chase them. That's another conversation for another thing. Anyways, next question. Um, how many kids do you want? Um, I want... Um, I don't know if y'all can tell, lady. I haven't even been going in order of how I do my face. Because I usually start with my eyebrows and then my eyes and then move to my face but lately i've just been going straight into my face and just been doing whatever to my eyes so yeah but um i want i don't know because i already have enough i would say like eight five that's the number that cut in my head right now eight and five eight or five my mom, like, I come from a big family. My mom has 12 children. My dad has nine. My um, grandfather on my mother's side, his mother has 16. So I come from, like, a real big family. And having kids is not no, you know what I'm saying, is not frowned upon, is not, you know, stuff like that. It is okay, you know, to bear fruit. That's how I was raised, like, so... Um, my grandmother had 10 kids, like, on my mom's side. Yeah, I want, like, five, five or eight. I'd say five or eight, y'all. Moving on. What is your favorite season? My favorite season... My favorite season is... Um, y'all, I'm not from New York. I'm from... Florida City, so I'm so used to the, the Florida heat, 
And when I was out there, my favorite season was winter. But now that I done moved here and experienced what like the what everyone go through and stuff like that, even though to me it wasn't really that cold here, um, I don't know. I've been in the heat for so long. Like when I came here, it wasn't even all that. Like, I was, I don't know, maybe because I was expecting more or whatever. But I'm torn between summer and winter. To be honest, I'm torn between summer and winter. Um, winter was my favorite, but now, like, I'm just like, but now I'm just like, I cannot wait to summertime because I'm so used to that summer heat and I'm used to having on no clothes all the time. So, like, I have to always go out just the fact that I have to go outside and having all these coats and jackets and wear long pants for a long period of time like that 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 gets to me that that does something to my spirit I think that's just like a downside thing that does something to me I gotta put on all these damn clothes and then when you don't wear enough clothes everybody looking at you crazy like you know what I'm saying so this winter that I just passed, um, I brung that Miami heat. Cause everybody was looking at me crazy. I'm outside in what, 45, 40 to 45 degree weather with a mini with a mini dress on, heels. Like Christmas time, y'all saw my Christmas photos. Like I really didn't care. Like two pieces, like I'm in Miami or something. Feel me? But. Um, my favorites are summer and winter. Maybe if I go, and it's snow, but it didn't snow like that. Like, how it usually do up here, because a lot of people are saying that too. I think I just need to visit somewhere where it actually is winter 24, I mean 365 out the year, because this was not nothing. Next question is, what is your dream car? My dream car, I'm not into, Y'all, to be honest, I'm not really even, like, into that type of stuff. Like, I don't sit back and just wish upon the stars about materialistic things like that. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't have no dream car. I'm, like, grateful for what. I'm not materialistic like that. I'm not really into that. But I, I guess any car that I haven't had, like, I don't know. Like, I don't have a dream car. Next question is, what animal do you want? What animal do I want? Or what's my favorite animal? What animal do I want? I want a teacup Maltese or poodle puppy. I don't care if it's a girl or a boy. Um, that right there is what I know I want for sure. Oh, let me put some foundation in my eye area because I don't think I'm doing too much. Anyways, but yeah, that's the kind of animal I want. They're so cute, so small. Like, I don't want nothing big, not even the size of the chihuahuas. Like, I don't want nothing big like that. Like a teacup, you know, cute, cuddly, cute, cuddly. That's what I want. Um, next question is, do you rather, do you rather live in an apartment? I mean, do you rather an apartment or house? Um, I'd rather a house. I was born, raised in a household. Um, I ain't ever have to stay in no, um, no apartment growing up. I always stayed in a house growing up. It's just, and to each his own, y'all. Don't go under my comments talking like I ain't trying to down nobody. I'm just talking. This is these questions are randomly about me, random questions. Um, but yeah, I'd rather a house because that's what I'm used to, and you know, that's how I grew up. So, yeah, you guys, comment down below what you rather a house or apartment, even though we know, like. 90% is gonna be a house. Like, who wants to live in an apartment? Only if you're, you know, by yourself, alone. You know what I'm saying? If you're, if it's just like, like that, but I'm pretty sure everyone wants a home, a house. 
right, next question is, what bond do you miss? I don't miss not nothing, not nothing. So let me stop capping though. Um, what bond do I miss? Um, bond with my grandmother. question is what tips do you have for shopping online um number one reading is fundamental i feel like if you don't like to read you don't like to like research and know and understand what you're getting and why you're getting it and like understanding the sizes and reading the fine print of things i don't think you should online shop like i don't think people that don't like to read things but just want to do things just do things shouldn't like be shopping online because when they get their packages or your orders you get to complain it like if you would have read the fine print if you would have read the size chart if you would have just read period like i just see that a lot how everybody just want to just order things and shop online and then be complaining when they get their stuff like maybe you should have read you know what I'm saying? Or you should know, if you an OG online shopper like me, you should know when something is a scam, when something is fake, when you have to read the reviews, like reading is fundamental. And, that's, and if that's something that you don't like doing, I just, the advice and tips for that is just to feel like, don't even put yourself in that predicament, babe. Like, don't even, like, don't even for real. And the tips and my tips are because the question was about the tips my tips are to read the fine print read the reviews um um anything whether it's food clothes anything just read the description read the reviews read the fine print of every little thing like zoom into the pictures read the little um ingredients instruction things that's on the back of the whatever you order in like read read just read that's the, the main tip for me is read you have to read All right next question do you have any advice for young women that's living on their own with kids ah oh, that's a good one that is a good one um my advice to the single parent the young women that's really out here doing anything first and foremost congratulations to you guys um because it, it takes a village because um, I was once there for a long period of my life so um, living on your own with children with kids with babies like on your own on your own is very hard it's very challenging it's very like you know I just the advice is you have to take everything one one day at a time, y'all. It has to be like one day at a time. Don't force anything. You have to learn patience. Cause patience is a virtue. Um yeah, like my advice is to stay strong and once you have that freedom, like once you lay the kids down and put the kids to rest, or if the kids are at school, any type of time that you have alone, spend that time wisely. And also like, like just take stuff one day at a time, you know, because it takes a village. And when you're on your own at a young age and you have multiple children, it's very hard, you know, it's very traumatizing and stuff. So that's, that would be my advice right there. So yeah, that's my advice on that. Just take that, you know, one day at a time, you guys. And just pray, stay prayed up, keep your faith, and yeah. That's the advice I have to say about that. Cause I know what it feels like. And I just tilt my hat off and congratulate all you ladies that do, you know, wonders on your own, especially like that. So the next question is, the next question is, do you have a skincare routine? 
Um, no, I don't have a no, I don't have a skincare a skincare routine. But um, I'd say, well, I don't know. It, it can be a routine. All I do is wash my face and use my Noxzema wipes on my face. That's it. Like that's the only thing that I do to my face. Other than that, like I don't have no routine. I don't have a cleanser and moisturizer, toner, toner, serum, and all that type of stuff. Like I don't have that. The next question is, what tips can you give for beginner YouTubers? Any tips? Um, number one, first and foremost, I feel like when you start out on anything that you're doing, any endeavor that you're trying to partake in, it's about your intentions and consistency that's what for me is the tips to, um for that because without those two things those are the two major things the major thing is consistency but it, it's also it's also your intentions as well like you have to have the right intentions because if you're just doing youtube just to get paid or just to you know have your mindset and your intentions on something like if it's not your passion and stuff and you're just doing it like just to be like forcing it like to like get paid and stuff like that it's like it's not gonna work out for you like it's not gonna work out because you're gonna always be looking for something you're always gonna be looking for okay when is this gonna happen for me or when is this gonna take off when is this like no if you don't have a passion for it and your intentions are not like right it'll never work out so you have to have the right intentions on um, wanting to do YouTube or build your social media platform as anything or that such like you have to have to have the right intentions for that um, next question any tips or advice to girls when they're in their feelings about men any um listen about that i just feel like you got to put yourself first you got to come first you got to think about you first what you want and like it depends on the situation of how you want to look at it like because if you like i don't know if you want if you're the type to um like, it's all about men and all about relationships. Like, I just think in that situation, you should, you know, look at yourself and put yourself in a position to really, to really, like, put yourself first, see what you want. And, dang, what is it? Like, not put your all into men. Like, you know... I just feel like you should put your all into that or any other type of you know situation I just feel like you should always come first you should know you should always come first and treat people how you want to be treated that's that's my advice on that like you have like you have to treat people how you want it how you want to be treated and that goes for anything, not just, you know. Um, next question is, what is your favorite thing to eat? My favorite thing to eat, um, I'm not a picky eater, so I eat anything, to be honest. Um, my favorite thing at the moment would be ice cream as usual, y'all. Um, ice cream, like little hand foods that you can eat with like pick up with your finger those are like my favorite eats right about now next question is do you feel social media has a positive or negative impact on you today um i feel like social media have an impact impacts you however you let it impact you um but in all honesty because it's like um for kids, I feel like for the youth, a lot of people say social media is not a place for children because 
you know, they might be exposed to um, certain things and stuff like that. But if you are a parent and got a parent or a guardian or anything of that nature, you would um, be mindful and monitor them on social media because, you know, the youth today um, have good and bad days on social media. They can be going through something in real life and get on social media and just, you know, find a happy place, happiness, and you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just all, it, it all depends. Um, it has both a positive and a negative, I would say. A positive and a negative. The positive would be like the example I just said, and then the negative would be, you know, the youth getting on there, looking at stuff and finding out things that they don't, you know, being exposed, being exposed to certain things. So, yeah, it has both a positive and a negative, you guys. So my next question is, the next question is, what are your motives as of right now? My motives as of right now would be to um, grow my platform. That is my motive right now. So like really, oh, I need someone to come sit right there. So I know y'all see that dark spot right here? No, and I gotta go, I gotta go. And I'm using the NARS. I only use a little bit of the NARS, but nah, babe. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta let that sit for a little bit now. Um, I need to spread it out though, cause it's on top of all of the other makeup. But yeah, you guys, um, those are my motives right now is to grow all of my social media platforms. And um, yeah, those are my motives. That's my thing I got going on right now. The next question is, do you think your little sister <laughs> should move upstate with you? That is too cute. But um, to be honest, and I hope you're watching this, I told you the day I got out here to come out here, the plan was for you to be out here too. Cause you know, my sister, she do makeup y'all. She's a, she's good at makeup. And she, I told her she's supposed to be out here as well. I told her to come out here. The plan was for her to come out here. But you know, hard head make a soft behind. You can't tell people to, what to do and what not to do. So. Y'all, I'm gonna also set my neck because I played foundation. The next question is, how long is your hair? My hair is, I don't know if I can see. Wait. When it's not in the afro and not wet and shrinked, my hair is like right here. And I guess what that shoulder them is right here. Um, yeah. Next question is, how many piercings do you have? I have two, three, my ears and my nose. I did have a belly ring when I was 16, but um, it rejected. So I no longer have that. And yeah, I only have three piercings on my nose and my ears one hole in my ear um so the next question is what is your favorite type of music my favorite type of music as of right now is um to see as of right now um i don't know the genre of music but his music as of right now is my favorite also um who else Listening to. Um, Summer Walker, Leona, um, Lewis, I think that's her name. The one I said, it gets better in time. There's no need to rush. It's like learning to fight or falling in love. That right there. You want to go to, I want to go to Bora Bora, guys. Like, I want to go to an island. My first is Turks and Caicos. 
I want to go to Tahiti. I want to go to Maldives. I want to go to Bora Bora. Like, there's so many foreign countries I want to go to. I want to go to Italy. I want to go to Greece. Like, I just, um... I just have so many foreign countries that I want to go to, you guys. Like, you guys don't understand. I just have, like, so many, y'all. just don't understand. But those are the main ones I want to go to, y'all. So, the next question is, what is your shoe size? Like, y'all must better be sending me stuff. Y'all must better come through for me. Because, yes, this is a random question, but y'all asking a lot of personal questions. But, you know, it's good. All right, with me, because if y'all better send me some stuff, I need to go open the P.O. box. That's what I need to do. That's what I need to do. I'm going to go open a P.O. box. But I am a nine in women. Okay. And that goes for anyone that's trying to look out for your girl. The nine babes and women. So, yeah. I'm going to go open my P.O. box. And, um... I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna link it down below. It's gonna be on all my social media platforms. You guys, so yeah. All right. So those were all the questions, you guys. Uh, once again, this was part two. I'm gonna finish off my face. I don't know what I'm wearing yet. I didn't get no outfit yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off my face because those are all of the questions. And then I'm gonna come back for the big reveal and show you guys. Once again, comment down below. Um, what do you think about this video? If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you are new here, I am Dimples once again. Thank you for tuning in. Be a part of the game. Follow me on all my social media platforms. They are in the description box below, you guys. And, um, yeah. I'm going to finish off my face, and then I'm going to come right back, and we're going to close this out.